Do you think abortion should be decriminalised? Um, as far as I know, the regulations are pretty loose at the moment. Yeah, I think it should be decriminalised. I think it's very important that like people have the widest range of choices available to them in these sorts of uh, situations. How yeah, is it still illegal? I really didn't realise it was. Um, yeah, that's crazy. It should definitely be decriminalised. I think that's fucking stupid. So it's 2016 and abortion is still illegal in New South Wales under the Crimes Act. But what does this mean for us today? The interpretation of the law at the moment is subject to the Levine ruling. This means that an abortion can be considered lawful if a doctor believes on reasonable grounds that an abortion is necessary to preserve the woman involved from serious danger to her life or physical or mental health. So there's a defence available. So why should we care? So what is, what, why, why from a medical perspective do we want to legalise um, abortion in this state? In New South Wales there is very little access to public hospital provision of abortion. Universally, it was a problem. So if you're a woman in a rural area, let's face it, your options are pretty limited. If the only doctor in your town doesn't want to provide you an abortion, there's no obligation for them to refer you on and you have to go and incur the cost of travelling to get one. We need a group of community members who say, hang on, you're providing all these other services free in hospitals, why are you not providing abortion? It's just completely unacceptable that you can't get an abortion for like under $400 in this state and women who are totally disadvantaged struggle to, you know, find access to services. Sydney health lawyer Julie Hamblin noted, there is a clear disconnect between what the law says, what most people think it says, and what happens in practice. The bill that I have introduced into Parliament does three things. It decriminalises abortion, it repeals sections 82, 83 and 84, which is Division 12 of the Crimes Act, yeah. to make it completely certain that this is not a crime. It also enacts 150 metre radius zones outside reproductive health clinics to ensure that people who try and make it unsafe uh, for patients to go in and out and for doctors can't do it within that 150 meter yeah. zone. And then the third thing it does is it actually requires doctors who may have a conscientious objection to providing an abortion to make sure that they let the patient know that they have that objection and then refer the patient on to another doctor or a New South Wales Women's Health Clinic. We don't have laws governing any other part of routine medical practice. We normally trust our doctors to give us the best advice and leave it up to the patient to make the final decision. So why should abortion be any different? Do you think it should be sort of regulated with law or do you think it should just be like completely removed like all the other medical procedures? Definitely regulated. I think it sh still should be regulated to some aspect because I know that there, should, there will be some medical complications if there are too many ab abortions for one particular patient. So the current proposed bill in New South Wales does not contain restrictions like those in other states. For example, Victoria have a provision for after 24 weeks depending upon certain circumstances whereas the South Australian law makes no provision for after 28 weeks. And we don't have those problems and those, those hurdles and obstacles in women's way to, to ensure that they're done um, effectively. And I don't really don't see that that's the role of, of, of a statute. So we, we follow the ACT model, um, again after lots of consultation, which does not have um, mention of abortion in the in statute law. And of course, criminalisation has led to the stigma, the silence and the shame around this particular matter. People do not talk about it. Decriminalising abortion is about removing the shadow of criminality that hangs over the issue and providing certainty to an area of law and medical practice that remains uncertain. It's about increasing access and decreasing costs and providing women with reproductive rights. It's about bringing this archaic law into the 21st century.